So we're gonna make a tomato sauce roasting the tomatoes in the oven. I think this is the best way I've seen it done. These are all my ingredients. Obviously I've got the, the tomatoes and I'll prep those in a minute. I've got some uh, rosemary, some thyme, four cloves of garlic, and a bunch of basil that I think you probably just saw me pick on my downstairs patio. And there's my volunteer basil plant. It looks way better than the one I planted. We'll take some of that. So I'll get to it and show you what we're doing. So with each tomato, I want to take that out. It's probably not absolutely necessary, but you don't want that chunk in there. So pop that out. Then I'm going to cut them like that. And I'm going to do that to every tomato. And then we'll get them set up in our roasting pan. So I'll just keep going on these. So we'll start, before putting the tomatoes in, putting all of the herbs in. There's my thyme, there's my rosemary, and I'm gonna pick, just roughly pick all of these leaves off of basil, and you put them in the bottom so that, um, look at those seeds. Put them in the bottom so that the tomatoes, or the these don't burn. The tomatoes won't burn, there's enough liquid in them. But this will keep all of your spices from burning. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna put my garlic in the bottom for the same reason I don't want garlic to burn. I want it just to, to cook. And then start filling this pan with tomatoes. On top of that, olive oil. That doesn't have to be good olive oil. That just has to be like extra virgin. You'd be wasting it because the heat will just put off any of the nice extra virgin flavors. So virgin olive oil, and that's it. That is going in a 160 degree oven until these just really reduce down into almost, almost dry. So we'll see how they look in a minute. I forgot the oregano. I'm going to toss it in. The tomatoes are already in the oven. I'm going to toss the oregano in. So that's what my tomatoes look like after about two oven, uh, two ovens in the hour, after about two hours in the oven. And most of the time, yeah, that's working. You can then just peel the skin off so you don't get chunks of skin in your sauce. So I'm just going to pull the skin off of these and then run them through the food processor. All of this stuff, all that stuff on the bottom, all the oil, that's why I put the parchment down so I can basically just lift it up all together and slide it off. So that's been run through a food processor. Very smooth. The final step is to heat it up again. And you want about a quarter of a cup of wine. You can go light or you can go red. I like red because the final color ends up being nicer. And you're gonna cook that until the alcohol has all cooked up. So I've let that cook down for about five, six, seven minutes. I found I had to keep stirring it or it started shooting all over the place. But I'll give it a try. Hmm, that's great.